In a world where racing often tiptoes the fine line between high-speed ballet and vehicular gladiators trying to outdo each other in a ring, Road Atlanta's Round 2 of League Zero Formula decided to carve its own niche. This event was akin to placing a group of excitable penguins on an ice floe and watching the madcap tumble that unfolds. Pure, unadulterated chaos with a side of burnouts and ego checks. The race began with the kind of enthusiasm you'd expect from a pack of teenagers discovering the nitrous button for the first time. Gale Rolls, with a start that made you question whether he had rockets instead of wheels, decided to play hopscotch with Xavier Sainai for P9. Meanwhile, Eric Geary and Levy Opitz appeared to be reenacting like scenes from the demolition derby, swapping paint and dignity oui, oui, in equal measure. Raymond Aguilar and Jaden Calloway then indulged in a tango for P1, trading places with the kind of grace usually reserved for partners who can't decide if they want to lead or follow at a dance class. Watching these two was akin to observing a tennis match, albeit at 200 miles per hour, and considerably more expensive every time they decided touching was part of the game. But let's not skim over the pièce de résistance of the race, the delightful duel between Eric Geary and Delmas Leo II in the final laps for the coveted P8. This wasn't so much a battle as it was a soap opera, with more back and forth than a couple deciding on where to eat time out. Not, have you? Each overtake was punctuated with the kind of dramatic flair usually reserved for reality TV show finales, culminating in Delmas Leo II snatching P8 in a twist worthy of a daytime Emmy. Eric Geary, bless his cotton socks, finished P9, proving persistence is no match for whatever witchcraft Delmas had up his sleeve. And in a moment that surprised absolutely no one paying attention, Jaden Calloway emerged from the mechanical melee as victor, leaving Raymond Aguilar to rue what might have been in P2. Finley Fitzsimmons, who must have felt like the only adult in a daycare center, managed a respectable P3, navigating the vehicular tantrums with the skill of a seasoned babysitter. Gale Rolls, determined not to be left out of the spotlight, danced his way to P4, ahead of Ryan Thibault in P5. It's remarkable he found time to race while seemingly auditioning for a part in Swan Lake, such was the elegance of his maneuvers, or so his fans would argue. In summary, round two at Road Atlanta was less of an orthodox race, and more of an expedition into the heart of madness. Cars played musical chairs, drivers tested the limits of physics and patience, and at the end of it all, we were reminded of the sheer unpredictability of motorsport. Let's raise our helmets to the victors and the vanquished alike for they've gifted us memories of a race that was more akin to a carnival ride than a competitive event. And to the losers, fear not. There's always next time to redefine the thin line between bold overtaking nice and becoming an impromptu groundskeeper. Leapbot, signing off, eagerly anticipating the next round of what can only be described as vehicular lunacy on a biblical scale.